So uh, we're um, Alexander and Magdalena from the admission office. Uh, we're working at the Medical University of Lodz. And today we'd like to tell you a bit uh, about Poland, uh, a bit about Łódź. Uh, it's uh, our city where the Medical University of Lodz is uh, located. Then we'll move uh, to, the, to the university. We'll tell you about, uh, about it. Uh, go around the campus, um, then move uh, to this uh, description of the programs uh, we offer uh, in English, then a bit about uh, the right to practice, admission criteria, admission procedure, uh, recognition of the documents, and then as uh, Ms. Puja said before, uh, we'll just wait for your uh, questions and try to, to give you the answer, answers to as many as we can. Okay, we'll I give you yes, a voice to Ms. Magda. Yes, with hi everybody. So uh, I'm going to speak a little bit about Łódź. Uh, Łódź means uh, lots, uh, you can say in English, but uh, usually in Polish we are saying Łódź, and it means boat. Uh, that is why uh, the boat is our emblem, which you can see here in the middle. Um, this is the, the boat. And uh, we are one of the largest city in Poland um, and uh, very uh, close, located very close to Warsaw, which is the capital city. Uh, it's just uh, around 110 kilometers away. It's similar distance like between Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Uh, the city is very well communicated with uh, other cities. Um, we have small airport, uh, we have a few railway stations. Uh, as well as we are located close to the cross of uh, two main highways, um, which is uh, going from uh, south to north and from uh, west to the east. Uh, which is a quite old city, established 600 years ago, and uh, usually it was called a city of four cultures, because before the Second World War, uh, different nationalities uh, lived here, uh, mainly Polish, Germans, Russians, and Jewish. A lot of tourists uh, visiting, uh, are visiting uh, our city every year, and uh, they are uh, coming to see numerous museums, uh, walk through the famous Piotrkowska Street, which is one of the longest shopping streets in Europe. Uh, they are coming to listen to the, to the concert at the Philharmonic, watch the show in the futures, relax in the botanical garden, or to shop in the famous uh, shopping mall Manufactura, which is uh, in, um, located in the very nice place uh, in the city center. Uh, last year also, it was open the Orientarium in Wuchizo, uh, and this Orientarium is attracting guests from all over the Europe. Uh, there are also few higher education institutions. That's why we, we are called uh, Academic City. Uh, as you can see, there are 19 higher uh, education institutions, but among them very famous uh, University of Technology, Academy of Art, University of Music, and Lots Film School. Uh, in the city, we have very good uh, public transport, uh, very well developed, uh, like buses, trams, uh, city trains and in near future also underground trains. Uh, it's going to be just one short line, but uh, it's um, at the moment uh, that they built this. Also, uh, there are taxis and uh, public bicycles, city bicycles and electric scooters uh, are available. So overall, uh, which is very nice place to live. And now we are going to talk about the Medical University of Lodz. Uh, yes, so the Medical University of Lodz is a big um, public university. Uh, we have three faculties and in Polish uh, language, we offer 15 courses. Uh, in English, uh, we offer uh, three programs. It's the medical program, 6MD program, dentistry, the 5DMD program, which means 5, uh, 5DMD program. And we also offer the, the preparatory course uh, taught in English. It's an eight month course for uh, those of you who would like to, to prepare um, for the first year of medicine, medical or dental studies. Uh, in total at our uni, um, there are 11,000 students uh, studying. 
and uh, I see that 800 of them are um, international students studying at our English division. Uh, we already uh, have 1,000 uh, graduates who completed our English programs. Uh, and um, during um, clinical years, you'll be able to have classes at our uh, free clinical hospitals. Uh, we also have 80 clinics and in total uh, 66 buildings. Uh, and uh, yes, we are like still growing. Uh, new buildings are being built uh, um, practically each year. Um, below here, uh, you see that um, our university is a university with a uh, long tradition because the Medical Academy of Lodz was uh, established in uh, 1950. And um, as for the English division, uh, we started uh, teaching in English in 2003. Um, that means that for now, yes, and uh, now uh, it's already 20 years of uh, teaching in um, English. Uh, here you have some um, highlights of, of our uni. So um, as you saw before, uh, we already have um, 75 years of uh, tradition in, uh, in medical education and 20 years uh, experience uh, of teaching in English. Also, um, the um, tuition uh, fee uh, is um, reasonable uh, compared to, um, to teach tuition in uh, some other countries. Uh, here, um, uh, you will see that at our uh, English division, you have students from uh, 67 different countries. Um, on the right, you can see uh, students uh, from our uh, uni. It's something that um, everyone is very fond of, that it's such a mix, such a, a multicultural environment. Um, we're a friendly uh, academic city, a student-friendly city, because uh, Magda was uh, talking about it. Uh, we have many uh, different universities in Łódź. It's not only the Medical University of Łódź, uh, but the Film School, Music School, Polytechnic, the, the University of Łódź. So uh, from September till um, June, you can see a lot of students uh, on, the, on the streets. Uh, Mm, now, uh, uh, Poland is in uh, EU, so our diplomas uh, are recognized in the European Union. Uh, if you search, you also see that uh, the university is listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools. And also, um, programs have been reviewed by the NCFMEA um, institution. That means that um, our graduates can practice in uh, US and Canada. Of course, like in US after completing additionally your MSV exams, uh, but um, uh, diplomas are um, recognized. Um, we do not have uh, one campus in Łódź. Um, uh, like I said before, there are like 66 buildings, so students move around the city, but most classes uh, are uh, located at uh, this clinical didactic center. Uh, it's a big uh, center. You have the, like the hospital, uh, lecture halls, um, laboratory buildings, so like brain and the other buildings you see here, brain and molecular lab are actually uh, some laboratories that are um, located at this uh, clinical didactic uh, campus. And then now, um, as you see, there's the administrative center and language center. So at the moment, we're uh, here at, at Halera Square in the uh, second uh, like part, uh, in the opposite part of the city. So we are um, speaking to you now uh, from the administrative center. And uh, as for the dormitories, um, uh, we have uh, three dormitories. Uh, we have uh, mainly double rooms. Uh, so they are shared rooms. Two students uh, are sharing um, a, a room. And there's a, a limited number uh, of, 
of the dormitories of rooms. So uh, if you would like to book um, a room in the dormitory, you have to contact us, but first you have to complete the whole admission procedure, get the letter of acceptance and make the payment uh, for the um, first semester. But apart from the university dorms, uh, in which uh, you'll find many uh, private dormitories. So we always are um, sharing the, the links with you. The um, private dormitories are located in the city center. Um, there are newly built modern uh, buildings which uh, have different uh, um, rooms in, in the offer and uh, they have English speaking staff and many international students uh, are living there. So it's also a, a safe uh, option for you. Okay, now I will give you a voice to Ms. Magda. Yes, uh, in our offer, we have uh, two uh, programs, uh, which are uh, like one cycle master's uh, degree programs. Um, there are six MD medicine as well as five year dentistry. Uh, a part of them, we have also a pre-medical course, uh, just eight month uh, course, uh, short, short program. Uh, so uh, let's talk a uh, little about uh, six, six MD medicine program. It's uh, like a six year, 12 semesters uh, program, uh, which is um, for uh, graduates, for high school and secondary school uh, graduates. Uh, in India, it is known as uh, MBBBS, Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery. Uh, when you obtain the degree from our university, uh, you will get a doctor of medicine, uh, which in Polish called lekarz. Uh, the program is uh, for six years, uh, means first three years are preclinical, uh, which is mainly theoretical uh, knowledge you are gaining, uh, like um, anatomy, uh, biology, medical chemistry, histology, and the other three years uh, are more practical. When you are going uh, to the hospitals, you are also interact uh, with patients, with real patients. Uh, the other program which we offer in English is five-year dentistry, uh, which is the, the second uh, master degree program. And um, here, uh, the thing, uh, very interesting thing is that we have a very good simulation center for uh, dentists, uh, for dentists, for future dentists, uh, with modern phantom units uh, and uh, simulation rooms, yeah, uh, which um, you saw in the movie. Uh, so here also we have preclinical years, uh, like two years only, and after that uh, you have uh, senior senior years of your studies uh, are uh, clinical also. Uh, the degree which we obtain after five years uh, dentistry program is lekarz dentista, which is in Polish, and of course in English doctor of dental medicine, uh, which um, in India is known as a bachelor of dental surgery. And the last program which we offer is um, just the course, preparatory course called PreMed. It's an eight month course uh, for these students who um, feel that they need to repeat the, or improve their knowledge um, for the basic, basic knowledge, yeah? basic science knowledge like uh, biology, chemistry, physics. But um, among uh, these subjects uh, during the preparatory course, uh, you learn also uh, Polish language. So it's easier later on to uh, find uh, here uh, yourself, yeah? Um, the thing about preparatory course, interesting thing is that there's no entrance exam. So uh, we just require here uh, your high school diploma, but the final one, and uh, also um, the English knowledge certificate, which can be like IELTS uh, certificate, for example. Okay. Now let us tell us uh, a bit about the right uh, to practice, uh, because this is a question we, we get also on, on our uh, admission inbox. So uh, in accordance with the EU directive, uh, to have the right to practice in Poland, you have to have an um, MD or DMD diploma. You have to pass the license uh, exam. 
and you have to complete um, the internship. So uh, once you um, graduate from our uni and get the diploma, um, you will be able to um, sit for the license exam and, uh, and take the license exam in uh, English. And uh, then it's the um, same with the internship. Um, of course, uh, you can complete the internship uh, in Poland in Polish language, but there's also um, a possibility uh, to, for our uh, graduates um, to like apply for this internship and to complete um, it, it last six months um, and internship uh, in English. Here we wrote also about like third um, alternative um, third option uh, for, for the internship that some students uh, like decide to um, complete the internship abroad and then uh, they apply to um, get the um, they apply to the Ministry of Health um for the like equivalency so the ministry of health and has to state that is um uh, the internship completed abroad is equal to um our internship okay now let's talk a little about uh, admission criteria to our programs so from all candidates we require a first of all high school diploma or secondary school certificate uh, should be the final but of course uh, some of you uh, still don't have it because uh, the final exams um, uh, you will have uh, maybe in May. Uh, so in this situation, in this case, we require just predicted grades or could be also the first uh, semester or, or second semester uh, grades. It depends which curriculum you um, follow. Uh, basically, we need uh, two science subject grades on your final uh, high school diploma. Uh, you can choose which one are the best. I mean, it could be biology, chemistry, physics, or mathematics uh, grades, and the grades should be above average, means at least 65-70%. Uh, the one, one of the requirements also is the English uh, certificate, uh, but if you don't have, you don't have to worry about that also, because uh, we have uh, the entrance exam, which is conducted in English. And during this exam, uh, your English uh, knowledge level also uh, will be assessed uh, by our admission committee. As for the admission procedure, it's very easy. First of all, it's the online. So you can go to our website, which is registration.umet.lots.pl and uh, create the account. After that, you have to log in again to the account and then choose one of our programs. So it could be medicine, dentistry, or pre-med course. Uh, you will have to uh, fill the application form. Then you will be asked to upload your documents. Uh, which documents? So um, the scan of uh, your uh, passport copy, uh, where was the visa with your photo, uh, the page with your photo, um, the scan of your uh, high school documents, and if you have uh, also uh, English uh, certificate, we require to upload uh, as well your photograph. Uh, then you can click to submit the application and then our admission committee will verify uh, the documents you submitted. If we have any doubts, then we'll send you a request to send us some clarification or maybe more documents. Uh, if there's no any doubts, uh, then our admission committee um, decide that uh, you can uh, go to the further step of the um, admission process, uh, which means uh, you will be um, eligible for entrance exam. But before that, you have to pay 120 euro the application fee. Uh, this application fee is non-refundable. Uh, so um, make sure that, uh, yes, uh, you want to take this entrance exam. Uh, when the payment will be on our account, you will get an information that uh, you are eligible for the entrance exam. So uh, you, are, you can just log into our to your account in our system and uh, choose the um, exam entrance exam date, which is suitable for you. Uh, we are going to have a lot of um, dates. Uh, we are starting in next week, 13th of April is the first uh, entrance exam. 
Uh, and um, the last one will be by the end of July. So uh, most of the exams, like uh, in May, June, we will have two free uh, exams uh, during the day, during the week. Uh, one entrance exam, um, first of all, this is the online, yeah, through MS Teams uh, application, uh, and uh, it takes around 30 minutes. So during this exam, you are going to get uh, eight uh, science questions and uh, for um, general and uh, sociomedical motivation uh, questions. Um, at the end, uh, the maximum uh, you can get 34 points. And uh, if you want to be accepted to uh, one of our programs, you have to get at least 19 points. Uh, this entrance exam is for uh, our medicine and dentistry programs for the preparatory course. As it was mentioned before, you not need to uh, take this, this entrance exam. So when you pass the entrance exam, uh, you will ask you to send us your final high school diploma. Uh, if it's already legalized or apostilled, it's very good. Otherwise, you will have to do it uh, before you will come to uh, start your studies in the beginning of uh, October. Uh, so when you provide us with the final diploma, we will send you a letter uh, of acceptance uh, based on which you can pay the first semester uh, fee. Uh, so as for the fee, tuition fee for the uh, 6MD program, the first year costs uh, 12,800 euro. Uh, for second till sixth year, you have to pay 12,600 euro uh, every year. And uh, starting from the second year, you can pay the tuition fee in four installments. Uh, as for the tuition fee for dentistry, it's uh, 13,200 for the first year and 13,000 um, for uh, second till fifth year every year. Uh, Pre-med course, the tuition fee is 6,500 euro. Uh, if you pass your exam before middle of June and you will get a letter of accept acceptance before 15th of June and you pay uh, this uh, first semester fee before end of June, you will get 10% discount for the first year of your studies. After we receive the payment, we will issue student status certificate, which is necessary to apply for a visa to enter Poland. And uh, we suggest to start this procedure to get a visa as uh, fast as possible, uh, because um, in fact, there's embassy, Polish embassy in Abu Dhabi, and um, the, you have to get an appointment with them and it takes time around three to four weeks uh, to get a visa. Even uh, during the summer uh, vacation, you will have to wait longer for your appointment. Uh, we expect that um, first, the first year students uh, will come for orientation week uh, for the last week of September, but exact dates we will announce later on. Uh, so um, during the orientation week, uh, you will be, uh, you, you, you can go around the city, you can see the places where you will be studying, as well as you have to first of all come to our office to sign the agreement and uh, to get the rector's decision uh, about your admission to our university. Okay, and uh, now about the recognition of the documents. This is the procedure that has to be uh, completed during the first year uh, of your studies. And upon arrival to, to which uh, you will be guided through this procedure but uh, by our uh, colleagues. But uh, just we wanted to underline that it's important for you to take the final original um, high, high school diplomas, uh, high school certificates with you uh, when you will be traveling um, to Poland because uh, you should submit them at the um, admission office. Yes, so once you have your final uh, certificate for, for example, senior secondary certificate, um, that you should get the, the apostille stamp on it. You should also take your migration certificate and both of the and the hard um, and the, the hard copies of the documents should be packed and brought with you to 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 Poland so that we can see them. Okay. And uh, you already know that we cooperate with uh, Jan Berry. So if you have any questions about uh, if you'd like to apply to our union, if you have 
any questions about uh, the university admission, just, just contact them and they will help you. Okay, and that's uh, that's the end of the presentation. Here you have all the contact details. You can always contact us uh, via email. You can uh, call us. Uh, we also uh, have all this information on our website. Uh, so if you would like to double check the information about the criteria, tuition fee, etc., you can just uh, you know go to studymed.umed.pl. So thank you very much, uh, Ms. Magalga and Ms. Alexandra for such a nice session. Um, it was very informative and the movies you showed was also very nice. Uh, I, I really find Poland really beautiful. So I really hope students are going to look at it and they're going to have, so, you know, be interested to apply to the university for this intake.